on some defense here moving forward. Oh! Lightweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Diego Sanchez. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the lightweight championship between Bruce Lee and Diego Sanchez. I hope you guys can like it. contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Vase. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lavey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, presenting the challenger, Diego Nightmare. And now, if you see the champion fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. UFC belt online, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, if you can.
at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Beautiful punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Takedown defense holds up. kick to the body. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, that body... Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's getting lit up right now, John. He throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. And they separate. Down, no problem. Big kick land. Oh, collar tie. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Conviction. Nice kick there by Lee. Straight right is there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Leg kick checked by Sanchez. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just misses with the straight left hand. Got the single collar tie. Sanchez's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Real sneaky body kick. Right hand landed. Just misses with the right. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Sprint, sprint, sprint. 15 seconds remain in the round. He doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Horn sounds for the end of round one. 
All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Second round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch by Lee. Nice, cheeky head kick. Slips and rips. Lightning fast that right hand. Left hand punch to the clinch. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he wants to try to chase down that fish. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh! Oh, a huge block there. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Sanchez rips the body. Right, left combo by Lee. Single collar tie now. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, good kicks. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in the second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but... This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. What a punch. And they separate. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Just misses there with the left. Sanchez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Just misses with that one. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big punch lands. Ooh. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. 
How about that shit? Oh, tags him with that money left again. The right hand just misses. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful body to land right under the ball. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Right now. Well, he certainly added to his highlight reel in that previous round, DC. A lot of effective kicks there to the body. And he did a great job of setting up those kicks. He's not throwing blind body kicks. He's not just throwing the kick. He's throwing it behind jabs. He's throwing it behind punches, making his opponent think high, and then blasting that kick right into his opponent's body. When he sets on you, take him down. And then just... All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Good strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet. But he's not up by much. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Head kick lands. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. And he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Look at him chopping. change, make him think you're going lower than come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh! He's hurt bad, John. He's not impressive. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to the feet. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Good stick. He's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. That straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times, he's used this punch to get to the target. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Nice straight punch. Nice comedy. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Right under the elbow, the body of land. He checks that leg kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Sanchez is punched to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. 
Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Oh! Oh, my goodness! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So what a knockout from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. So thank you so much guys for watching this video, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So this is the lightweight championship between Bruce Lee and Diego Sanchez. Thank you guys for watching. So there he is, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world and certainly getting the title defended with style points here tonight. He's your winner by now. He's just a great fighter. He does everything the right way. Lands a beautiful shot to end the fight. Keeps his belt. You can see the big smile as he celebrates with his family and his friends and his coaches. Congratulations to the champion.